Welcome back. We are bringing in the new year right with an hour long DSI Governor's Challenge special now moving right along yep. in the tournament. Dover, a newcomer to the tournament this year. They had a tough opening round matchup, though. They were taking on Dunbar. Yeah. Supposedly, they're pretty good and they proved <laughs> it again this year. Poets, Demonte Moore right here. The nice little head fake dishes it over to Taimu Cherney underneath. He's able to score the lane. Senators turn. It's Javion Peace right here. Drives on in for two right there. The low scoring game. 22 to 17 at the break. Jeez. Second half. Senators trying to mount a comeback. Stefan Rush Wilson making it happen. Gets the steal. Gets the layup right there. But it'll ultimately be Dunbar down the stretch out of Baltimore. They're not bad. Ishmael Daveport, Davenport rather. Hits the two. Dunbar gets the win. 39-34. Low scoring game right That's there. That's right. Dover also in a matchup against Urbana. Time running out in the half. Kickout goes mm. to Cameron Turner. Mr. Turner, you said, Spencer. Mm -hmm. He beats mm -hmm. the buzzer with the triple. It had a 15-point like lead. Hawks control the tempo in the third quarter. Brendan Smith with the steal right here. He's going all the way the other way for the end one right there. Shortly after that, uh, he would be looking for his teammate, a big fella underneath. Brian Breezy connecting on the jump hook to give Urbana the lead. Dover responding in the fourth, though. Check out this sick year old step by Turner. <laughs> He's just doing it all this time. Boy went to mock Two it and found some new tricks. Of his 11. Senators go on to win 64 to 57. Well, how about North Carolina? Them Bulldogs taking an idea of charter on Thursday, and the dogs on the attack. David Bailey Jr. gets to the corner, knocks down the long ball. That boy can play anything that has a ball, any sport, whatever. Yeah. He's good. Timberwolves turn. Tion Hurd right there, rocking the suburbs with a triple of his own. But North Carolina was rolling all night long. Check out the big fella, Jamie on Franklin. Ooh. Okay, okay, big fella. And then soft touch. Okay, Ooh. gets to the paint right there. All right, not bad, okay, man. man. Bulldogs putting this thing away. The swing goes to Joey Adams, and this man has some swag as well. There's yeah. a couple ballers on North Carolina. <laughs> they get the win, 74 to 64. Your final. All right, so they were looking for another win up against Oakdale, and this one a good push by the dogs early on. There's big Jamie on passing. To that guy, David Bailey Jr. for the easy score. Back come the Bears here. Brad Foster going to find Drew Zariah. He's going to get left-hand finish right there. Uh, North Carolina getting blown out in the second half, but they would keep fighting. Joey Adams, touchdown pass to David Bailey Jr. We set it all fall, and we're saying it now. Then Bailey right there hitting the jumper from the corner. Uh, but this one was all about Oakdale. Quite a good team, and I'm going to go on record and say this would have been a good basketball uh, football matchup as well. Yeah. Oakdale against North Carolina. Uh, unfortunately, North Carolina drops this one big time, 79 to 38. Well, about Colonel Richardson taking on seed in the opening round of the tourney. Only five players for seed as they suited up, miss or four of them missed the bus actually, but they more than held their own early on. The Colonel's on the attack right there. The kick goes to the corner. And Deontay Dickerson finds Jazir Luke for the three ball. The freshman phenom then showing he could score himself. Gets in the lane for two. Then he goes ahead and hits one from deep. Got his team going. But the fourth quarter, well, CR would start to uh, try and continue to fight back. Darian Speller in transition. Finger roll finish for two. But Seed just kept pushing all day long. And mainly that guy, George Anderson, had himself a ball game. 36 points and 12 rebounds for that young man. And they also had a guy that had a triple-double. That's pretty impressive. CR drops this thing 68 to 59, your final. <laughs> Colonel Richardson in another matchup taking on St. John's. Third place game for another short team. What do you think? Colonel's on the attack. Lorenzo Turner finds some space on the right wing. Triggered distance. That is good right there. St. John's going to make a game out of this one. Chris Ballisert in the lane, getting one shortly to go. Then he's going to put it in spin cycle right there, okay. showing off the move to the kids. CR came to play in this one. Time running out in the first half. Uh, big Eric Joseph, like we said, a big guy in the post. Yeah. Not really big uh, height-wise, but he is big length-wise. <laughs> He's going to get that to go. Then Darian Speller from the corner. Give me all three of those. CR finally gets a win in this tournament. How about it? 61-50. Yep. to 50. Another one of those young teams that will be good yep. here in the next couple of years. Well, how about Easton taking on Indian Creek in their first matchup of the tournament on Tuesday? Warriors on the attack. Ryan Farr finds a trailing Chris guy. He steps into a long ball in rhythm and puts it in. Eagles turn. Zion Chase finds Keon Washington. He lets it fly from distance as well. That is good. Pretty much everybody hitting threes in this game because shortly after that, well, let's go ahead and make another shooter right here. This one's going to be J.I.A. Brown as he connects from the right wing. And then it's going to be Ryan Farr showing he can shoot the pill as well. He actually definitely can shoot the wall. Three points for him. It was three points for the shot. And then Indian Creek, well, they eventually pulled away. Malik McKinney right there connects on the pull up from the elbow. Easton goes on to drop that thing. 
52 to 43 your final yet another third place game for our short team <laughs> Easton, that sounds like a tough matchup uh, against Frederick Douglas story early Ryan Farr doing his thing he's going baseline right there for two then he's going to step back and hit the three right there welcome back Ryan Farr how about it he's mm -hmm. finally mm -hmm. back making some shots Ducks come back driving into the paint here Malik Holloway gets the dump off for the easy score right there Easton not going away in this one Chris guy Gonna put it on the deck. He's gonna get to the rack. And that boy, yes, he can finger roll a little bit. But Frederick <laughs> Douglas made a late push in this one. Breakaway <laughs> by Moanu. And look what the young fella does. He almost tears Waller's rims down. Shame on you. You <laughs> slammed and it. Easton drops this one 51 to 48. No, we won't tell Waller. It's all right. It'll be safe with us. <laughs> well, it's all right. Time for another quick commercial break. But coming up next, what else? We're gonna have more Governor's yeah. Challenge tournament coverage. Keep it right here. You're watching DSI. This is Coach Dave Byer, head coach of uh, Parkside High School. You're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.